वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वे आर गिवन टू अस इज अ सर्कल इन साइड अ सेमी सर्कल लेंथ ऑफ दिस ग्रीन कॉर्ड इज टू सेंटीमीटर दिस पर्पल लाइन सेगमेंट इट्स पैरल टू द डायमीटर ऑफ सेमी सर्कल एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस रेड लाइन सेगमेंट और वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेट्स चेक दिस सिंपल एंड एलिगेंट सोल्यूशन We'll solve the same question in two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach, and second approach will be logical approach, where we'll solve the same question without any geometrical theorems. Let's check the first approach here. Let's start by assuming the center of circle as point P. Now we know that when two circles they are touching each other, that is this blue and brown circle they are touching at point E, then the point of contact and the centers of the circle. they lie in a straight line now po is the radius of this blue circle ab is tangent to the blue circle thus by theorem angle o here will be 90 degrees now cd and ao they are parallel to each other let's extend cd to meet po at point f as these lines are parallel so these angles they are corresponding angles and thus angle f will be 90 degrees let's join do here now angle d it's an angle subtended by the diameter of blue circle and thus by theorem it will be 90 degrees now if you look at the triangle efd and triangle edo both have got angle e common in them and both have 90 degree angle so by angle angle similarity both the triangles are similar to each other as the triangles are similar to each other thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal in this case ed upon ef that will be equals to eo upon ed now here length ed is 2 cm so putting ed as 2 cm we get 2 upon ef is eo upon 2 simplifying it we'll get eo times ef is 4 now this result we'll use further so let's write it down on the top now let's join go here now eo that's the diameter and diameter always subtends angle of 90 degree so angle g here is 90 degrees now if you look carefully ce with respect to bigger semicircle ce is a chord and from the center we have drawn a perpendicular on the chord and by theorem the perpendicular drawn from the center on a chord bisects the chord that's the cg and ge they both will be x by 2 now here if we take the triangle ego so and triangle cfe now in both the triangles angle e is common and both are 90 degree angles so both the triangles are similar to each other as the triangles are similar thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal or here we'll get eg upon eo that will be equals to ef upon ec now here eg length that's x by 2 or let's first cross multiply them so we'll get eg times ec is ef times eo now eg that's x by 2 and ec length that is full length that's x and eo times ef that is 4 so putting the values here we'll get x by 2 times of x is 4 solving it we'll get value of x as 2 root 2 cm and that's our answer now let's see the logical approach for same question that solving it without any theorem or formula to solve it logically let's first make a duplicate diagram for this figure now here if you look carefully only limiting factor which is given is the length of this chord green chord should be 2 cm and then we can always draw a purple chord which is parallel to the diameter and then we have to find value of x so even if this chord of 2 cm let's say if this is slightly at an angle so if we'll reduce the diameter of this circle slightly then this 2 cm chord this will become slightly more vertical and will come in this particular direction
now this new figure it meets all the original conditions of the question and thus our answer that should remain same otherwise the question itself will become invalid here also if we'll see we have got same blue circle semicircle green chord purple chord which is parallel and we have to find value of x how about if we will reduce the size of this blue circle slightly more so that this green chord it will become fully vertical now here believe it or not this question still meets all the original conditions of the initial part that is this green chord length that's 2 cm and this purple line segment that still it's overlapping the diameter but we can say that it's parallel to the diameter and we have to find value of x now here the radius of this semicircle is 2 cm that is this length will also be 2 cm and x we can find by pythagoras theorem as 2 root 2 cm and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye